Here we are. Oh, really? Why does Bandai Namco always gotta have paperwork at the fucking start of the game? Oh my god, can I just fucking... Can I just play the game, please? Can I play the game? Please! Okay, I get it, I get it, I own all this DLC. Here we... Alright, what's up my boys? Welcome to Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. This is a game that I have been wanting to play for so long. I used to own an Xbox, and this is the one game that I never got to play. I got to play Xenoverse, and I got to play Fighters, but I never got to play this game when it first released. So I'm so excited, and the thing is, I mentioned this before, I really love RPG games. And this is basically a Dragon Ball Z RPG, and it's also open world, so... I can't wait to fucking play this game, so uh, yeah, let's get into it. Let's just jump straight in. Select the battle difficulty. This can be changed at any time from the options menu. Nah, no, fuck it, dude. We're playing on hard difficulty. Let's do it. Oh, here we go. What's Gohan? Little kid Gohan. God, kid Gohan was so... He was so adorable, man. Dad? Dad? <laughs> He sounds disappointed in his dad already. I think I think he's doing some image training. What are you doing? What are you doing, Goku? What's going on? Oh shit, it's Piccolo. <laughs> Yo, why is he just Piccolo, suddenly here? You came. Do a little image training every now and then to make sure I don't get too rusty. Time to see what I can do. And you're just the guy to help me do that. Let's go. Now, I did play the demo for a little bit. And I kind of got a hang of the controls, but uh, not really. I, I know what certain buttons do, but there's still a lot that I don't know about this game. Uh, okay, basic controls. Oh my god, I'm not going to remember all this. It's kind of weird for me because I played a lot of Xenoverse back then. And this whole entire different control scheme is just... It's really weird for me to get used to. Oh, I can't speak. What moves do I have? Oh, man, man, ah! Hell yeah. Can I shoot some key blasts? Oh, those key blasts suck. Just like Xenoverse. <laughs> Give me all you got. What's he doing? What is that? Ow! Can I block? Oh, yeah. Get over here. Oh, shit. No. No, I'm blocking that. I'm blocking that. I'm waiting for that fucking mode to run out. Yeah, there it is. There you go, there you go. Take him out! Kamehameha! Oh man, this is, this is so much fun already. I can't wait to get access to the open world. Oh fuck. He has that mode already? Oh shit, what is this? Keep dodging, keep dodging. Oh fuck. Can he do anything to him when he's in this state? Ah, whoa, 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 whoa! Beat, beat his ass! Beat his ass! What do my other moves do? So this paper rock? Body blow? Oh fuck. Oh, surge. As you take damage or deal it out, your tension gauge will fill. When both your ten tension gaze and key are full, hold Y to activate the surge effect. While surge is active, all of your stats are boosted. You'll be able to perform unique attacks and cancel super attacks and combos into other actions as well as automatically chase after knockback opponents. The surge effect gives you the freedom to change together Attacks you normally can't chain together, as well as do things like fire off multiple Kamehameha's one after another. Oh shit. That sounds fucking OP. How do I do that? Hold Y to activate, activate, the activate the surge effect. How do I do that? Did it tell me how to do that? I already forgot. How do, how do I do it? How do I do it? How do I do it? Just do that. Okay. Whatever. We'll, we'll figure it out later on. Got an achievement already. Damn, this looks good. Holy shit. I know one thing they do really good with this game is the cutscenes. Oh, damn. Showing off everything already, just spoiling the whole damn show. Stop the Saiyan invasion. Alright. Let's do it. This is the start of the Saiyan saga. Oh, shit. Here they come. I ain't skipping any of these cutscenes. Oh, this is just Raditz, I forgot. <laughs> I completely forgot about Raditz. I feel like a lot of people forget about Raditz. Long-haired man. Intimidating man. Brawny man. Oh my god, these nicknames. They could've just done, like, triple question marks. They didn't have to give these guys, like, generic nicknames. Wait, I just remembered something. 
I think my little brother Kakarot was sent to a different planet. I'll bet he's still there. You have a brother? I didn't think there were any Saiyans left besides us. <laughs> if he joins us, the rest there of the really aren't that, mu that much left. No time. The fact that he's your brother doesn't exactly fill me with confidence. What hey, shut up. No, oh, they got a nice shot of Vegeta's I ass. Oh called... my god. <laughs> Damn, boy, he's thick. That's a thick ass boy. All right, so we learned that no, Raditz has a I haven't heard anything about him taking control of. He has an inferiority complex with Vegeta. Damn that Kakarot! I can't do voices, man. Attack of the Saiyans. All right. This feels like an actual episode of Dragon Ball Z. Dad? This is awesome. Dad? Oh. Oh, the text just goes. All right, I don't have to press anything. Hey, Dad? Gohan. We better head home, or Mom's gonna be really mad at us. Sorry for getting a bit carried away, Gohan. I was fighting somebody super strong. <laughs> super strong? Piccolo, the guy he's fought like three times. It's me, Piccolo, everybody's favorite character. <laughs> Actually, technically, Piccolo? only this Piccolo once. Yeah. Well, he used to be called Demon King Piccolo. Yeah, King and Piccolo and Piccolo are two different. He's the strongest guy Mechians, I've ever I guess. fought in my whole life. I don't think anybody's gotten me more pumped up than him. I want to fight him again, so I'm hoping to get stronger and soon. Hell yeah, typical Goku. To fight someone like that. <laughs> you know, I bet you'd be just fine if you trained yourself up a bit. True. I don't think mom would like that very much. Who gives a shit about Chi Chi, bro? Ah, that's right. I totally forgot that Chi Chi asked us to get some ingredients for her. How could I not remember that? Oh, God. I forgot. We're, we're essentially living the life of a Dragon Ball character. We're not just fighting all the time. What all did she need again? Oh, uh... I think she wanted some fish and apples, Dad. Fish and apples? What oh, kind of yeah, combination right. is that? Let's just see if we can't find us some apples around this place. Let's just okay. see if we can't uh, find us some apples. What? That sentence even makes sense? Ooh, okay. This is gonna take a while for me to learn the controls. You can find a variety of items on the field. Simply approach an item and you will automatically collect it. You, you'll have to press B when near an important item though to collect it. Be sure to collect food items as they can be eaten as is for stat boosts or cooked as part of meals for support effects. Those effects will definitely help you if you find yourself up against a tough opponent, so keep yourself nourished regularly. Alright. We have to feed ourselves in this game? Don't get too excited and trip over your own feet! God damn, this is like real life now. Oh damn, you move fast as fuck. Never mind, this is not like real life. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Dad, over here. Hey. Oh hey, Gohan. It looks like you found an apple tree. That's an Let's apple. Let's try to find one more. What do you say? What's the difference between an apple and just grass? I didn't see shit. Look at little Gohan running. Aw. Uh, do you know where the apples are, Gohan? I hate following AI in any game. Especially when you have to protect an AI from dying. Oh god, dude. I'm getting Xenoverse flashbacks, flashbacks already. flashbacks already. Wow, there it is. You're a regular bloodhound. Right. You're a regular bloodhound. <laughs> That's one way to say it. I'm kinda tired now, though. You're already tired? We've only been out here for like a few minutes. We'll catch some fish and then head straight home. Catch some okay. fish. Oh yeah, I've done this fishing mini game. It's fucking weird. Like Goku attaches a tail onto his ass. It's kind of sus, but uh, this man's the strongest in the universe. So, I mean, you can't really question anything he does. Keep Gohan close and make your way to. I have to walk this dude. Sorry, really? Sorry. Oh my god, this is so lame. Why do I have to follow you around? Why do you walk so slow? Come on. Are you not a saint? Come on. What's wrong, Gohan? Can you hurry up? What what is what is happening? I'm tired. I can't walk anymore. We just we've only been here for a few minutes. Damn, you get tired pretty easy, don't you? Yeah. I guess Does I the kid have asthma? Hey! <laughs> Yay! Look how high I am! Aww. Hey, you perked right up. Oh, I can't run around now. Fuck. Okay. Kid, you know that? Yeah, definitely. Actually, I don't know if he's spoiled, considering how poor what Goku's family is. That's why Chi Chi wants him to become a scholar, scholar, because Goku won't what? get a job. Well, I definitely can't help you with your studies or anything like that. But yeah, if definitely not. To toughen up, I'm your man. Nah, fighting is too scary for me. No, it's not. No, it's not. Just wait until you see yourself in the future. 
Let's get started. Let's do it. But what are we gonna fish with? We don't have any rods. We're gonna fish with your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs one of those pesky things when you've got a tail? <laughs> it's so weird. My my tail? Just wait until you guys see what this fish fishing mini game is like. I haven't done it in a while since I don't have a tail anymore. True. But when I told my friend Bulma Shit got cut it, off a while she ago. actually made me a makeshift tail to fish with. <laughs> what? Can you believe it? <laughs> That's nice. how he got the tail? A makeshift oh. tail made by Bulma? Okay. Why would she make something like that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is so <laughs> This is so sus. Yeah, come on. Have a little bite. Oh. There we go. Oh, I got it. It wasn't perfect, but still got it. Blue fish. Items earn lean giant fish, giant fish fin muscle. Damn, imagine if fishing was that easy, bro. No wonder why Goku's eating good. Oh, hell yeah. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, I get different buffs. Okay, let's just, uh, let's do that. I don't know if that effect is temporary, but I'll learn more about the game as we play it. Is there anything better than some fresh fish in your belly? Ugh, I think I ate too much though. Well, yeah, I feel like Gohan would eat a do. lot. Considering, look at his body, bro. He he should not be eating a whole ass fish. I had fun today, Dad. You know, I had fun today too. Thanks for your help. I'll teach you how to fish next time so we can do it together. <laughs> so sad. Because okay. <laughs> Goku's wait. gonna be dead and. <laughs> In a little bit. You got the following soul el- What? What are soul em emblems? I can't even speak. Soul emblems are items that represent relationships with certain characters and can be obtained as you progress through the story. All the soul emblems that you've obtained can be viewed on the community menu. Uh, soul emblems don't do anything by themselves, but by sending them to a community board, you can activate effects that will help you on your adventure. What? Is this like an artifact from Destiny? <laughs> you got Z Warrior Community Leader Goku and unlocked a, a new community board. <laughs> How many times are they gonna say Soul Emblem and Community? Soul Emblems have community levels that affect the community to which they are set. Emblems are well suited to some communities, but not well suited to the others. Uh, setting them to certain communities will increase the maximum community level. Increasing proficiency will increase the community's level. Can you stop saying community? Okay, I, I guess there's no reason for me to stay here. Yeah, let's, let's just head home. Return home. Let's head home. Let's go home, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go home. You're gonna carry Gohan. Yep. This is like this is like the only point in the story where Gohan. Or where Goku is actually going to spend time with Gohan. We're on Nimbus now. Right. Hey, Gohan time. has a pure heart. He can ride Nimbus. That's good. Whoa, it's a dinosaur. Oh shit! Fresh meat. Fresh meat. Kill it. Oh, lame. Bye bye. I remember in the actual show, Goku's family actually takes care of like a certain dinosaur family. I don't know what it was called. I don't remember. It's been a while since I watched Dragon Ball Z. Z orbs. Z orbs are special items you can find on the field or win from battles. Any you find on the field will be collected by approaching them from the side. They are essential for acquiring super attacks, so make sure you collect as many spot as possible. Blue orbs can be found by water. Green orbs near forests. If you're looking for Z orbs of a, of a specific color, head to a spot with a lot of that color. Okay, so head back to Goku's house. So yeah, okay. So I need to get used to this. So right bumper to go up, left bumper or right trigger to go down. So weird, but Pure heart can ride. oh, God, that Jesus Christ, it's is no so clunky. There. All right, That's I'll get used fun. to it. I'll get used to it. We could collect more apples here if we need to. I don't know why we need to though. Let's head back home. Sup, Chi Chi? Oh, she looks pissed. Oh no. Hey, Chi Chi, we're back, and we got food. We got food. We ate it all though. You're late, Goku. It shouldn't have taken you so long <laughs> to gather ingredients. Goku's wife. Yeah, yeah, she sorry is. Sorry about that. We did some training too. Training. You're well, supposed to introduce Gohan to Master Roshi and the others today. Wait. You didn't really do training with today? Gohan though. Of course. <laughs> ah, sorry about that. I promise I'll remember next time. I'll remember next time. We'll get it. Can't you just do it right now? You, you can fly get over there here. real quick. I need to get cooking right away. Oh shit. She's gonna cook for us. 
Slice of life. Talk to Chi-Chi and get her to make you some lunch. Cooking. If you have fruit, meat, fish, or other ingredients, you can get them cooked by Chi-Chi or by other cooks. Eating cooked dishes provides special effects such as boosted stats and temporary support effects. These are called meal effects. Uh, every dish has its own necessary list of necessary ingredients with richer dishes requiring rarer ingredients. More extravagant full course meals provide even greater effects. You can't cook them right now, but you'll be able to as you progress further on your adventure. Okay, so I'm assuming this first episode that we're going to be doing on this game is going to be a little slow. Hopefully you guys can bear with me. The, ga the whole game isn't going to be like this, by the way. There's going to be more fights and more action later on. It's just the start of the game wants to do slice of life no, stuff, which I don't really mind myself. So. What can we make? Select boiled fish. Plus 15% to key defense. Okay, apparently we just want to make more key defense. That's good. We're gonna be a brick wall after this. Fully bricked up, as they say. No. God damn, that looks good. I want to eat that. By the way, um, I don't know if it's obvious, but my controller has like slight stick drift on the right stick. And that's kind of why I've been avoiding games like this for a while. Uh, that's why I've been like playing 2D games. Hopefully it's not too drastic when I play this game. Examine. To put his new students to the test, Master Roshi throws a stone on which he wrote the character for Turtle deep into the woods. He states that whoever finds the stone and brings it back first will get to eat dinner while the other will go hungry. Damn, that's fucking brutal. Goku finds the stone, but Krillin tricks him and seals it away. He then rushes back to receive his meal, but an unexpected trap is waiting for him. What is that? Mark stone. This is the stone okay. me and Krillin used in our training. Me and him had to hunt this thing down. Got some nice background information. I actually haven't seen Krillin beat me then, but only because he cheated. I had to go hungry that night. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't seen uh, the original Dragon Ball. I've only ever seen Dragon Ball Z and onwards. Except for GT, I haven't watched GT. I remember I saw one episode of GT air uh, on television and bro, it, it was so boring. I never wanted to watch GT afterwards. I've only seen uh, Dragon Ball Z Kai and uh, Dragon Ball Super. I'm going to see Master. I could really go for some food right about now. What? What? He, he, what? He just interrupted his own dialogue. I'm going to see Master Roshi, my old master. His place is surrounded by the sea. It's loads of fun. Oh, yeah. All right. That was really odd. Talk to Chi Chi to get the box lunch from her. Oh, okay. She's making lunch for us. What, are we going to school? All right. I'm finished. Imagine Goku in Here school. Here are your lunches. Dig in whenever Actually, we don't have to imagine Goku in school. You can just watch Dragon Ball Evolution. Except you shouldn't watch that movie. That movie's dog shit. And over to Master Roshi. Later, Chi Chi. We're off to see Master Roshi. Imagine using Wait a, a flying cloud as you your main Goku? transportation. I thought you had something for Gohan. Oh yeah, that's right. What's that? Oh, his hat! I used to think that Dragon Ball was fake, but I'm pretty sure that's the actual four-star ball that he put on his hat. Really? Oh my, Gohan looks so handsome. So handsome. It'll be like he's watching over you whenever you wear that hat. So take real good care of it, okay, Gohan? Named after his grandpa. All right, we're leaving for real this time. Goku, don't let anything happen to our little Gohan. Of course not. That's never gonna happen. I want you both home by supper. You got it. Both home by supper. Oh man, it's all just hits different. All this dialogue is just is it does not age well. It said there are seven mystical orbs capable of granting any wish when brought together. With them, anything Ooh. the heart desires Shiny. can be attained, whether unfathomable riches or absolute power. Look at Shenron. It makes Shenron look more badass than he actually is. <laughs> and it's around these Dragon Balls that this extraordinary story unfolds, with new challenges and adventures awaiting Goku. God, this game looks awesome. Every turn. I love it. I'm just gonna gush about the art style the entire time. Oh shit! Sub story unlocked. A long overdue reunion. Head to Master Roshi's place. All right. Well, he looks like a feeble old geezer. But he's super strong. Said there's a sub story. Is that a side quest? So it's a real shame he's kind of a massive pervert. <laughs> yeah, he, he is. was my rival at the time. But now he's my best friend. Is Krillin strong? Just like you? Uh um, yeah, I got <laughs> Kinda. 
Kame House. Look at that Goku! basic ass font. <laughs> Goku! Turtle School yeah. Martial Artist. Oh, and who's this little guy? Meet my son. What? Your, your son? He has a kid? Yeah. Holy shit, he knows how to have sex. Uh, hey! Uh, hey! <laughs> His name is Gohan. Gohan? Oh! So you named him after your grandpa, huh? Yep. Yeah. Suits him, don't you think? It does. Oh man, I feel like I'm in Legacy of Goku, but in 3D. Can I explore around this place? What is this? There's another photo. Goku and Bulma help a lost turtle return to sea. Oh yeah, this is like one of the first episodes of Dragon Ball. I know the first few episodes pretty well, because... Those are like the only episodes I've seen of OG Dragon Ball. To show his gratitude, Turtle introduces the two to the Turtle Hermit Master Roshi. Master Roshi rewards Goku with the Flying Nimbus and Bulma with the Dragon Ball he wore around his neck. That's really sweet. There's like a collectible photos around here. There's probably gonna be a shitload of collectibles. I mean, this is an open world RPG. Oh, there's more photos in here. What is this? Oh, it's Launch, dude! Where the fuck is Launch in this game? I want to see her. Before he will train Goku and Krillin, Master Roshi requires them to bring a beautiful woman. The two find a woman named Launch, trying to avoid the police and bring her back to Kame House. Master Roshi is pleased with Launch, and as soon as he has her wear the Turtle School uniform, <laughs> something incredible happens. Oh, man. Launch sneezes, causing her to go from a quiet, polite woman to a violent, foul-mouthed ghoul again. Yep. She's the first Super Saiyan. Turtle School uniform. This is the uniform Master Roshi gave me, Krillin, and Launch to wear. Awesome. I wish I could walk a little faster, though. <coughs> Holy shit, what the fuck? <laughs> he just sprinted out of there as soon as he got out of the house. Alright, let's talk to Krillin. What's up, man? His best buddy, Krillin. Goku, have you been training lately? Well, not as much as I want to. Chi-Chi gets pretty angry if I train too much, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, I haven't trained myself either. Damn, y'all are rusty. Piccolo taken care of. Things have been I wonder why quiet. Raditz whip your guys' asses. Hey, you two. What are you talking about? Uh, 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 nothing really. <laughs> hmm. I could have sworn you two were talking about how you've both been slacking off on your Yeah, training. Roshi's not going to be happy with that. <sighs> Guess there's no fooling you, is there, Master Roshi? It would seem you've both forgotten that training is a daily activity. Not something you do only on special occasions. Facts. You should be moving, learning, playing, eating, and resting every day. That's the way of the turtle school. Oh, that's iconic. I remember he said that when he was about to sacrifice himself in the tournament of power. Never forget your daily training. That moment was so epic. I've got a little challenge for you. You unlock Turtle School Training Manual. What the fuck? There's a manual for that? Come report back to me once you've finished your training. Time to get back to my usual enjoyment. <laughs> bros, <laughs> had to go jerk off. All right. <laughs> Venture to a blue pillar on the field or speak to a character with a blue exclamation mark icon above their head to initiate a sub story. Completing the sub story will net you XP, valuable items, and or soul emblems. Uh, some sub stories can only be obtained can, can only be completed at certain times, so make sure you do them when you can. Okay. Sub stories are basically uh, side quests. Or what does Turtle have to say? What do you want? Yo. Hmm. What's going on with you? You seem pretty beat. Yes. Ka Kame House is resident turtle. Huh? Uh, oh. Uh. Something's up. Are you hiding something? I went on auto scroll, so. Dag nabbit, he went and hid my book again. That's Master Roshi's voice. I don't know what he's talking about. O okay. Do I have to go find magazines? He's gone. By the way, there's no voice acting for the side quest, I, I don't think. Oh, hey, Goku, have you seen that blasted turtle? Tortoise? Yeah, but he ran off somewhere. Tortoise? Are you seriously still calling him that? You know that's not his name, right? What about my book? That pain in the butt hit my book. What kind of book is it? Is it really that special? It's probably a fucking porn mag. Of course, the special is my most prized possession. If I don't have it, then I... I... Something is wrong with you! Bro, imagine Master Roshi doing No Nut November. That'd be painful. Turtle is hidden Master Roshi's quote-unquote book. It has to be around here somewhere. Okay. This is literally the Legacy of Goku. This is the first quest in Legacy of Goku 1. Well, if it's really that important to you, I guess I can help you find it. Did you hear that sheesh from Goku? 
Sheesh! It's a, <clears throat> a swimsuit photograph collection. <clears throat> yeah, not porn, by the way, not porn. See, finding this, uh, this magazine will help me defeat Raditz. Yo, Bulma, do you know where his porn is? You mean that geezer's filthy book? Like, I would know. If you're looking for tort, uh, turtle, I saw him heading toward the back of the house. Oh, wait, I forgot. Doesn't Turtle also jerk off to the porn mags? I don't know how he does it. He's a fucking turtle. Hey, Tortoise, so where'd you hide Master Roshi's book? Oh. It's Turtle, Goku. You should know that by now. I'm sorry, but I can't tell you where the book is. Hmm. Master Roshi's read enough of that thing. He needs to learn some self-control. Facts. That's why he it belongs in the ground. Wait, did he bury it? The ground? Wait, he buried it somewhere? As Goku finds the photograph collection, Turtle is hidden. Is it right here? The dirt here looks like it's been dug into. Take a closer look. That was easy. I mean, Master Roshi's house is a small-ass <laughs> island, so there's not really many places you can hide it. Aha! Here it is! You found the girly book. The girly book. We found your porn, Mag. Oh, you found it! You're the best, Goku. You handed over the item. Yep. I knew I was right to take you on as my student. I'm counting on you to help me out when that troublesome turtle hides this again. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, yeah, sure. Hey. We really got XP from that. We got all this shit. We're definitely gonna beat Raditz now. <laughs> Let's do some training, Krillin. I'm assuming we're gonna be doing some training. Hey, Goku, I know Master Roshi was talking about it before, but, you know, training's pretty important, huh? I can't let all the strength I gain... Just go to waste, so I'm planning on getting back into a serious routine. All right. So what you're saying is you want to fight me? Huh? You? Haha, <laughs> maybe some other time. <laughs> I'm gonna focus on some mental simu simulation training first. Aw, uh, come on, don't be a bitch, Krillin. I'm surprised that shit actually works. How does that work? Like, you're just doing shit in your mind. You received a D medal from Krillin. Oh, I got some D from Krillin? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What is this? <laughs> I guess you can- you could call it a training keepsake. Oh, okay. Yeah. The great thing about mental simulation training is you can do it where anywhere you want. <laughs> like this beach, for example. All right, here we go. All right, I'm gonna give it a try. Recommended level two consecutive energy blasts. What? Manually aim key volley with homing properties that make it easy to connect hits. Can be used against multiple enemies. I guess that'll help for when we fight Raditz. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh shit! Stepping, dodging. On an attack at close range, yeah, 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 I know how this shit works. Ow! Punch him! Get his ass. Oh, shit! Ow! That hurt, that hurt. Oh! Ah, oh, no! I'm stunned! Get his ass, get his ass, get his ass, Goku. Ha! No! Ow, dude! Krillin's kicking my ass, bro! Oh god. There we go. Got him! I know how to block. I play fighters. Fish it off with a Kamehameha. Ha! Let's go! Got a new super attack. You learned consecutive energy blasts. That was really easy. That should be enough training for now. Maybe I'll talk with the guys just a bit longer. What the fuck is this? What did I just click on? There's fucking skill trees in this game. Oh my god, this really is an RPG. Should I just leave it off here? Nah, it'd be kind of lame if I left it off here. Nah, let's talk to Krillin. You know what? This is the... This is the introduction episode. I'm gonna leave it off here. Bruh. <laughs> I know I said I wasn't gonna leave it off here, but this is just uh, is a little taste of what's to come with uh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. I definitely want to play through the entirety of this game because I spent fucking, was it like $50 Ooh. on this? I mean, it was a pretty good deal because it came with all of, like the season passes and the DLC. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it off here. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this game. I'm gonna be uploading more often. I promise that to you guys. So yeah, uh, make sure to tune in for these videos and uh, see you guys later.